I had a friend last year who described Kansas City as a big hug, and I think we can all agree that immediately when you touch down, you're embraced. It, it, it really proves itself from, from the second they get here, especially since we fixed the airport. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that new airport just kicks things right off. So They're nice. like, holy hell, did I land in, you know, Utopia? It's like, no, this is Kansas City. And that you have this crazy thing where it's like we're playing out at the KA play for a Royals game. We have the show on Saturday night, and there's a lot of fun activities. But we all go around and visit the rooms and visit the kids. And so I think that there's such a wide swing of moods that certainly our guests that come in experience, and that's why I think several of them come back. Uh, it, it, you leave this weekend feeling rejuvenated in a way that uh, I, I don't think any, any of us have ever really felt outside of that. And it's primarily, I think, it's being here in the hospital. One of my favorite memories of Big Slick was going around to the kids' room, and I went into, I was with Robert Smigel, and he had Triumph. He was Triumph, the yeah. insult comic dog, and the kids were amazed by the dog. They couldn't get over it. And we went into the room, and as soon as Robert was doing, ah, it was, I realized, and he realized, oh, I can't do my bits. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw the panic on, Ro on Robert's face, like, how do I do triumph <laughs> to these kids? <laughs> and he, he just started destroying me. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I was sitting around last night thinking, wow, $50,000 was our goal. And here we are. We've now you know, made over $21 million. We try to bring... Uh, a lot of entertainment to Saturday night. I, I love the fact too. Just talk, talk about the evolution of this thing. The first, the first year, the show was in the Voodoo Lounge, and we had a couple auction items, like I think tickets to the Daily Show and a motorcycle uh, that someone donated. Right, Mark? Isn't that right? So, uh, and it's obviously grown, and now we're at the T-Mobile Center. Magic, music, comedy, um, and we always try to find new voices. Uh, and sometimes we have you know repeat voices, but but it's because they beg to come back and that we're blessed to have that. Somebody ticket. go buy the tickets, please. <laughs> yeah, get them while you 50. can. Get them while you can. Everybody's been able to keep this thing, keep the beach ball in the air, so to speak, for, for 15 years. Um, it's been wonderful. So to me, it's just that kind of that cool uh, watermark of 15 years. Um, and... Uh, so that I, I'm, I'm joyful about that. And I'm joyful that at 15 years is the biggest one we've ever had. So that to me is a, a really good sign.